Oh, who's the good girl? Who's the good girl? Yes, you are. Y Yuichi? <laughs> Why the hell are you here? I was looking for you so we could explore together. It's dangerous here. You should have told me before that you were gonna go here. What if I weren't here? This dog would have attacked you. Yoichi, are you- Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried if the Scoutmasters will hurt my dog if she bites anyone. That's your dog? Yeah. Her name is Yuki. Pretty, isn't she? Why isn't she in the camp with us? That stupid Yoshinori wouldn't allow me to keep Yuki there anymore, just because she bit someone last year. She was just trying to protect me. Isn't that right, Yuki? Well, she almost attacked me too. She's just not used to seeing new people, alright? You don't understand how hard it is to be alone! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <sighs> I get why she'd attack people like that. Hated by everyone. Feared by everyone. Abandoned. Yoichi? <laughs> no one knows what Yuki's been through. Mm. Yoichi? Was Yuki... A stray dog? <sighs> go, Yuki. Scram before someone else sees you. I'll go back to you as soon as I can, okay? I found her lying on the streets long ago. Cold. Hungry. And alone. I could never forgive the person who made her feel like that. And you, Katero! Don't you dare tell anyone about Yuki and everything I just told you. Or else, I'm really gonna kick your butt. Right, I won't tell a soul. Good. Now come with me and I'll show you around. I know these parts of the woods like my own backyard. Oh, you're awake. Y Yoichi, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm taking care of you, duh. Why is my body covered with wet towels? Eh? Isn't that what you do to sick people? But you didn't put one on my forehead, the one place you're supposed to. Well, sorry. Do I look like a doctor to you? You should be glad that I'm looking out for you. Thank you, Yoichi. I'm so lucky to have such a handsome nurse taking care of me. <laughs> Stop saying stupid crap like that and just get better, idiot. <laughs> Alright, Yoichi. What? You don't have to walk. I gotcha. Uh, but I'm a bit heavy. You don't have to carry me, Yoichi. Heavy? You're like a walking stick. You barely weigh anything. Just shut up and let me do what I want for once. You already manipulated me into doing your bidding the whole day. Didn't you do that on your own, Yoichi? Shut up! One more word and I'll throw you in the ocean. <laughs> what the hell are you staring at me like that for? You better not be daydreaming about any of that typical romantic shit in that head of yours.
Well, I was just thinking about... How you have cute pink nipples. What the? You're still horny after all that? Do me a favor and keep your hands to yourself. Carrying you is already more trouble than it's worth. Ah, uh, that's right. I think you can drop me now. Your arms must be already numb. And we are already near the campsite. Someone might see us like this. Ugh. You really know how to kill a mood, don't you? Fine then. Ow! Yoichi! You better not be cold after all that. Uh, well, no. Not anymore. Thank you for warming me up. I should be the one thanking you. For helping me find Yuki. I don't think I could have done it without you. What are you saying, Yoichi? I really didn't do much. I realized I wasn't thinking straight earlier. And if it weren't for you being there, I wouldn't have been able to pull myself together. You were also nice enough to stay here with me, even though you knew it would get you in more trouble. You know I did that for Yuki's sake too, Yoichi. I've gotten attached to her, after all. Is something wrong? N nothing Come on, there's obviously something on your mind right now. Well, I just don't know what I'm feeling right now. It's like, what we did felt good, and it was always fun, but this time really felt different. I always go on about how you're the one who always wants us to do it, but when you think about it, it was me all along. Huh? What do you mean? <sighs> You're driving me crazy. <sighs> I'm just not used to people being this close to me, okay? This is a first for me. It's alright, Yoichi. I think I know what you mean now. You do have a soft heart, after all. Shut up! Forget I said anything. This is so nice, to hug someone like this. You're really warm, and it feels good. Uh-huh. Don't you get hugs like this all the time, Yoichi? I've only gotten this kind of warmth from Yuki before. Yoichi, I hope you don't mind me asking, but I've been really curious. How did you and Yuki get this close? I know she's your pet, and you've been with her for a long time, but... I really feel like you two share something more than that. I I'm sorry, I know I'm asking something very personal. You don't have to answer. N no, Keitaro. It's alright. I, I already trust you enough to tell you about it. Yuki isn't just some pet to me. She's... Family. Both of us have come a long way, after all. A long time ago, Yuki and I met each other on the streets during a rainy day. She was in a box, all cold and alone. I couldn't believe that someone would abandon something so small and helpless like that. But, despite all of that, she just seemed so happy to see me. She was shivering, but her tail kept wagging at the sight of me. When she looked at me with those loving eyes, I felt a connection between the two of us. I just had to take her with me. After just a short time, Yuki became my best and only friend. We depended on each other to survive. I doubt you'll believe it, but Yuki's a serious prankster too. She would always distract a vendor with those cute puppy eyes of hers, while I snatched some food for both of us. Even the one time I got caught, Yuki showed up and saved the day. We'd been living like that for as long as I can remember. 
Spending our nights in dark alleys, trying to get by as much as we can. I'm so thankful that I have her by my side. Until one day, I met that stupid Scoutmaster and he offered me a place to stay here at Camp Buddy. Thank you for telling me all of that, Huichi. I haven't told that to anyone else, you know. <sighs> I guess it kind of feels good to have someone to talk to and listen like this. Nobody's had the patience to handle me like you do. Everyone usually gives up on me, but not you. But really, Yoichi, I'm just glad to hear you being true to yourself like this. Thanks to that, I really understand now why Yuki is special to you. Well, you know, you're kind of special to me now, too. Just saying it didn't seem like enough. So listen, you better not leave me, alright? I won't, Yoichi. I promise. <laughs>